All right, here we're back for another workout. We're gonna be doing two groups of three exercises today. All of them are gonna be four sets and everything will be eight reps or eight on each side where applicable. Number one is going to be a marching push-up. So we come on down to the floor, get to that push-up position on the toes. As we go down, one of our feet are gonna come up and it will go back down as we come up. And then we switch to the other foot and repeat. Now, as you're doing this one, make sure you don't just bow, take your hips with you. If that one's gonna be out of the question, we're gonna do a regular knee push-up as our second option here. Same thing, but our knees will stay put this time. For the marching push-up, we're gonna be doing eight on each foot from the knees, just eight. All right, we are on to our second circuit now, sticking with the four sets of eight or eight each side. The first one's gonna be a nice slow motion two-point row. So feet together, you step back, come down, brace against the leg, and we're going to go for about three seconds on the way up, and then three seconds on the way down. Really control the weight. The more you can control it, the harder it'll be. Once you've got eight on the right, make sure you switch to the other side. And then for our core exercise in this half, we're going to start off with some pike ups. So I've got my pillowcase set up. I'm going to come on down to a push up position. Keeping my legs straight, I'm going to pull my toes towards my hands. Bring them as close as you can, and as explosively as you can. Now, if that one's not gonna happen, we can always do the knee tuck. Or, we can do the mountain climb. Sticking with the four sets of eight. Okay, our next one is going to be the contralateral step up. So I've got my chair here. I've got my paint can. I'm going to step up with the opposite leg. Using only the leg on the chair to rise up, we're gonna drive through that leg. Make sure you don't have anything over your head there. And then control it on the way back down. Control is the key. Now, if we can't do a step up onto a chair this big, you can use something smaller, but if you don't have something smaller, we can just do a single leg squat to the chair. So for that, we're going to line up. We're gonna have our leg out, control our descent, tap the box, and come back up. Doing your best to keep that other foot up off the ground. Both of these will still be eight on each side. All right, up next, we're gonna have a goblet reverse lunge. So I'm using my paint can here. Start with our feet together, good tall posture. We're gonna take a step back. Down, up, and together, and then the other foot. Now, if this reverse lunge isn't going to happen for us, we've got the goblet squat, but all the way fall back onto it. Alright, next we've got a core exercise here. It's going to be the single arm farmer's hold. We're going to be holding for 30 to 60 seconds on each side. To do that one, we're going to have our feet together. Nice tall posture. I've got the weight here on the one side. I'm going to hold it out about 6 to 8 inches away from my hip, and I'm going to squeeze my core tight. And we might feel this on this side, we might feel it on this side, everybody's a little bit different. While we're counting, we make sure that we don't lean forward. Make sure that you don't lean to that side. Stay nice and tall, kind of like a statue. All right, and then for our finisher today, we're gonna start off with the bear hold. So for that one, we come on down to the ground. We're gonna have our hips right underneath our knees here. First thing that we wanna do is get a nice curve in our back and tuck our hips underneath. You really feel your core engaged here. And then we bring our knees about two inches off the ground and hold it there. Now today for our finisher, we're gonna be working for 30 seconds and resting for 10, pairing the bear here with the lateral shuffle. Now I've got a small space. I'm gonna be nice and careful, make sure I don't bump into anything. I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna shuffle. Get my feet nice close together and then head back. And once you have three sets of each tongue for 30 10, we will be all done for today.